Welcome in then to the latest edition of Extra Time. Why are you looking at your watch, Shane? Uh, hurry up. I'm, I'm, last day, last day you, I'm giving, before I'm carnival. I'm giving you four minutes for all them four questions. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going really in depth. <laughs> it is a different I think so. Uh, I think yeah. Definitely. We've got some real detailed answers. Ian is with us as well. How are you, Ian? I'm oh, very well. It's nice to see you guys again. Oh, nice to see you as well, are you? Stevie, where do you rank Klopp among Liverpool's greatest managers? Well, I think up, up until now in Liverpool's history, it has been Shankly, Paisley and Dalglish. Yep. And Klopp, in my opinion, has just gone on to that list. Above anyone on don't, don't, list? Don't get him in Liverpool echo again. Well... No, I think. But he gets no. himself in the Liverpool. <laughs> well, no, you set him up to be in the no, Liverpool echo. Cool. Yeah, the question. Nobody goes above Shankly. Shankly? Shankly's at the top of the tree. Right. Shankly's Ollie Watts, Ollie Watkins for Villa, and he's got three behind him. Oh. Paisley, Dalgley. It's a very well, weird analogy. Well, it's a football analogy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> With Ollie Watkins in for some reason. <laughs> No, Shackley is the Ollie Watkins no. of Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Liverpool no. echo. No, that you're, you're, that, that you're, just you're right, you're right, Dan. He does it himself. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> uh, do you agree it's Shankly and the other three, Ian? <laughs> yeah, I think Shankly's got to be number one. I, I think he made the modern Liverpool turn them from a second division team into a major power in the land, but everybody them, put them in that all red kit and just created that incredible culture that has surrounded Liverpool for most of the time since. Uh, Ian, which rivalry will go down as the greatest in Premier League history? Sir Alex and Wenger, Mourinho and Sir Alex, or Klopp and Pep? I still think it's that Manchester United, Ferguson, Wenger thing. You know, that yeah. that went on for, for a long time. We're kind of forgetting it. It's receding into history. Arsenal haven't won the title now for 20 years, but uh, Blimey, eh? that that was fascinating at its peak. But of course, you know, the modern day version is Pep and Klopp. I mean, they get on rather better though, don't they? I think yeah. Benger and really didn't like each other at all for a while. I'd forgotten that, 20 years. 20 years since Arsenal won. Oh, wow. that's a long time. There we go. What's that face for? I'm still going back to Ollie Watkins. Shaka, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what needs to happen to fix the Tottenham corner kick situation? Is it Vicario or his teammates that need to adjust? You need to have somebody around him. Right, so like a protector? Yeah. Oh, no, not even just a protector. Not, not necessarily, you know, any, any purest in, in, um, interpretation of that, but just... If the ball's dropping low, somebody to head it out. Somebody that, that could put a body on on um, on any any attacker who's who's getting a little a little too close to, to Vicario. Or no, I, I just don't understand how you have somebody standing unimpeded right next to a goalkeeper. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I just don't. They they don't have to think about anything. It's crazy. Uh, Ian, what sort of preparations do you do leading up to a game? Mm. Just statistics, or do you also follow a diet to make sure you're at your best <laughs> on match days? Oh. A diet? I that no, no, well, that don't one. follow a diet. Um, well, the preparation's quite long-winded and takes a lot of time, and you've got to watch a lot of tapes and read a lot of stories. And I, I produce a couple of cards for each team, so make a few phone calls. So. It just goes on and on, really, until the game starts. You're, you're kind of glad when you get to the game and you finish the prep. <laughs> uh, what about Macca's preparations, Ian? <laughs> um, probably, probably he doesn't write anything down at all. He's the only guy... Oh, <laughs> well, no, but somehow, in his head, he's, he seems to know and have everything that's happened with the two clubs involved, so... He does his preparation, and like he was as a player, he's kind of off the cuff. Yeah, you two are very good together, Ian. Very nice. Ooh, ooh. Ian, which is harder, radio or TV commentary? I think TV is harder, not because, you know, t TV, you could say, is the more glamorous medium of the two, but on the radio, you're, you're just describing the game. You are the eyes and ears, so you're just describing 
who's got the ball, where they've got the ball, what the score is pretty much constantly for anybody who's listening. On TV, they can see what's happening. So you, mm. you're you hopefully, along with your co-commentator, who's usually a very good ex-professional player who can see far more about what's going on than I am. Um, so on TV, you've got to kind of add to the pictures and that can be a little more difficult. What's your advice to young commentators? What do you see some of them doing wrong that maybe you would advise them not to do? Uh, don't use too many stats. Just use them as a bit of uh, seasoning on the game. Don't don't say. Yeah, that's good. That, that, that was that was. I, I love that. Like the stats are. Yeah, seasoning it's just a little bit of game. seasoning. It should be the main course. Oh, no, do you know what, Ducky? I like when he said the score on the radio because. On the weekend, on a Saturday or a Sunday, I'll be dropping the kids off. Yes. And I'll be listening to a game on the radio. And I don't always get it from the start, whether it's first half or the second half. Mm. And sometimes I'm sitting, talking to myself, here's a shot, and I'm going, I wish you would tell me what the score is. Yeah. Like sometimes it's like 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and I don't know what the score is. It's, it's actually frustrating. I think there's some sort of app you could use. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Dan, I'm driving. Oh, wrong, well, I was so sure. apologise, yes. yes. How dare you suggest <laughs> so yeah, you yeah, break I... the law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with Valentine's Day around the corner, what day is Valentine's, Stevie? February the 14th. Very good. Um, that's, uh, uh, that's Ash Wednesday, so it's also Ash Wednesday. Oh, OK. Yes. <laughs> uh, what are you doing for your significant other? Nothing. Nothing? Maybe a little treat, little well, surprise. <laughs> I think nothing's pretty final, isn't it? All right. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting waiting for something else. Do, mean, do it, you start. <laughs> do it, you start. There's nothing up for nothing, right? Uh, Shaka, will you be doing anything special? Um, no, not, 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 not this year, Daniel. No? Businesses are closed, generally, during... Um, oh, during Carnival? Yeah, because Carnival's in Monday and Tuesday, right. so there's not a lot. OK. I normally do something <laughs> for my... But she'll be with you. Oh, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yes, good. yes, 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 she will, yes. Uh, sh uh, do you indulge in anything for Valentine's Day, Ian? Um, yeah, we usually go out for a meal or I might Aww. buy some for my wife. But, you know, I've suddenly realised, thank you for reminding me, I'd forgotten. It's next week, isn't it? But I yep. think I'm in home covering Lazio and Bayern Munich. So oh, I'm going to have to book some when I get back, I think. <laughs> Oh, oh, that just, old, that just, old excuse. Yeah. <laughs> just make sure, just make sure yeah, I see the score. Yeah, that, uh, she said that. Otherwise, TV will be lost. <laughs> 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 uh, for, <laughs> for Ian, does Pompey have what it takes to automatically qualify for promotion to the championship? They have a very winnable game Ooh. against Carlisle, who's bottom of League One this weekend. He, um, it, it's going to be a close run thing, but the Pompey have been, or Portsmouth, I should explain really for anyone who doesn't know, um, my home city is where I was born, next to the ground. Um, so I support Portsmouth and they've been top of League One nearly all season. So this time, fingers crossed, I'm hoping they've added a bit of quality during the window oh. and I think they might just get them over the line. Hope so. Who's your manager? Who's your manager, uh, the, the, the manager is a guy called John Lucinio, who is an ex-player at various clubs in the lower divisions, and he's been very good. First job, and uh, he looks kind of like to the manner born. And the, the great chant from the Portsmouth fans is, who needs Mourinho? We've got Lucinio. Yes. <laughs> uh, final question is for you, Shaka. OK. What possible news could get Shaka to do a remote from Trinidad and Tobago, which, of course, happened oh. to Stevie at Disney uh, World mm. because yeah. he hadn't clocked left? Uh, I'm, I don't have roaming on my phone. Oh, really, Shaq? Yeah, so I can't. can't. What do you mean you don't have roaming on your I don't have roaming, so, so, so I can't. It's phone can't won't work, in. can't get emails, can't get... Yeah, phone. I can't get... I know what it means. Nothing. Yeah, I can't. I know what roaming is. Really? I so, do, actually, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but why would, but why, would, why would somebody make a phone that didn't have roaming on it? Well, some people don't have roaming. They don't pay the extra bits of money for it. Oh, so that's extra. Uh, yes. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yes, it can be. I didn't know that. There we are. You can get really caught out on it. You can lose hundreds of dollars, so be careful. Oh. If you ever leave the country, which probably. Uh, no, and, and, and more to the point, people could call you to do stuff when you're not, yes. when you're not, when you're not around. Yes, well, <laughs> yes, exactly. You've got to rush, rush back from the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> uh, have a lovely time, Shaka. Uh, I'll and try. If see Shaka no, free, don't stop it. <laughs> no. 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 no, don't. Plenty of pictures. No. Feel free to uh, no. pictures. stop doing that. Uh, we had Stevie in a fanny pack last week. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I won't be in a oh, fanny man. pack.
pack. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to give you a fanny pack. Uh, just to remind you, we will be back here tomorrow without Shaka. You're going for like four weeks, aren't you? I'm, I'm, I'm going for a couple of days, Dan. Wow, good for you, mate. Craig will be here full of Connors. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. Alongside Stevie, as we'll be reflecting on Chelsea's tie with Aston Villa in the FA Cup.